Hey there, how you doing? How's your life going? Are you busy? I'm sure you're shaking your head. Yeah, I'm busy. Well, that's what we do to ourselves. All of us, our lives get so busy that we have ourselves packed in and scheduled going from one thing to another thing, whether it's at work, it's our personal stuff, family stuff. We have ourselves going, going, going. In fact, John Kabat-Zinn says, we call ourselves human beings, but we probably should call ourselves human doings because that's what we do. We go, 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 we do, 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 and we don't spend any time being. In our thought for the week at Reignite the Soul this past week, the theme was being is enough. When we think about that, probably those words kind of fall pretty cold, like being is enough. And if you think about it, is it okay to be? What does it mean to be? Many times in our heads, we think that just won't do. That doesn't seem productive. I think people will think I'm lazy if I'm just being. And that's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about slowing down long enough to know how you are interacting with the world. You know the quote that says, life is about 10% of what happens to you and 90% of how you react to it. Well, if you're going, going, going all of the time and having experience after experience, do you really believe that you can manage and regulate the reactions that you have in your life? Many times we react in ways that we're not proud of. If we spent a little time just calming down and experiencing the here and now and knowing how we were, maybe our reactions would be a little bit different. So as it relates to that, let's use an analogy of the water and the ocean. So let's think about it like our life is like the ocean. And if we're at the top of the waves, what's happening on the ocean? The water is going like this. And that may be what our lives seem to be like. But what I want you to think about is even if your life is going like that and you have a host of things going on, the thing that can help you is to have you go beneath the water. Slow down and experience going under the waves and peeling back the onion and seeing how you're doing and how you're experiencing your very life. You know, when you get below the water, if you've ever been swimming out in the ocean, and you get below the water if you're diving, it's amazing how calm it is when you get below the water. And that's what we have to do in our lives. It doesn't mean we have to change the mind state that we're in or what's going on, because frankly, many times we can't. But in order to figure out what our next move is or how we're experiencing it, maybe we get beneath the waves. It's amazing how clear things can become when you just become a little quiet. So when I woke up this morning, I had a mantra in my mind that kept coming to my consciousness. So I decided I'm going to write it down and then I spent some time taking a look at it. And it's really simply this. When we think about our lives, lots of things happen. We have lots of experiences we need to get to live in the here and now. So the mantra for me was, I need to let go of the past, whether the past was some time ago or was even yesterday. I need to let go of the past. I need to learn from it, understand the experiences that happen, but nonetheless, let go and learn. Because if we don't learn from that, we may repeat some of the things that we don't want to repeat. You know, there's the old adage, those who don't know their history are doomed to repeat it. And once you let go of the past and you learn from it, the next step is live in the here and now. Because you know, frankly, that's all you have anyway, is the present moment. Being in the present moment fully is your point of power. It's the thing that helps you get below the surface of the waves and helps you to determine how am I going to respond and to react into the various states of my life. So 
let go of the past and learn from it. Live in the present moment. And when you're doing that, the next step that will come to you is illumination or light. You will begin to see and experience how you are to move forward. Letting go and learning, living in the here and now, begins to light up your path forward. So when we make a decision that we're not going to be bounced around on the top of the ocean in the waves of life, but we're going to go beneath the surface, be in the here and now, we get a different perspective. We understand who we are, we understand what's coming at us, and we can re regulate how we respond to it. In that way, we can change the way that we react. There is a quote from Gandhi that says, be the change that you want to see in the world. Rather than looking at this in a global perspective, look at this from a personal perspective. Do these things so that you can be the change that you want to experience in your world. And when you live like that, the world around you will certainly change.